You know, this is the third time I'm trying to film this and hopefully I will actually make something this time. Uh, hi hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do another draw with me or sketch with me or whatever you want to call it. You can have me on the background, I'm just gonna sketch and talk about whatever I feel like talking about. And it's just gonna be one of those days where I try to do something and I have no idea what I will do. I have a feeling I will just doodle some cute objects, like Christmassy objects, because I like to get in a Christmas mood, and I might just do that, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday, and are enjoying the start of the weekend soon, and we'll have a nice weekend. <laughs> That's a long sentence. Let's draw! Look at my coffee. <laughs> this is like the perfect opening to a vlog, just with the coffee. So here is what I have in my bag, you guys. And we're gonna do a bag thing here. This is my little bag. It's quite tiny. Let's move my coffee. And it has lots of little cute pins on it that I absolutely love. I love collecting pins. It's my new passion. And um, yeah, in this I fit my sketchbook perfectly. Can also fit my iPad, which also works perfectly. We got a pencil and a sharpener, and I also got my eraser. I got my trusty ballpoint pen. I got a grey legs pin, <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, and I have my business cards. These are kind of torn up though from being in my bag. I have another one as well. Where's the last one? I don't have any of the last ones. Oh well, I had another one as well, but these are the ones I have here. Mm, useless tangent, but I don't know, maybe you wanted to see that. So I tend to go for really cheap stuff apparently, because free, less than a pound, two pounds. <laughs> okay, I think I might have figured out what to do. Uh, I'm out of frame, but I will have to do. Um, so I don't think, maybe you remember, but last time I did the sketch and draw with me, I was designing the snowcat princess, and I mentioned kettle cats, and how that would be a really cute sticker sheet. And now I'm like, I'll do, I'll do some kettle cats, <laughs> because that's really sounds really fun. I just want to do it, and uh, I just asked on Instagram for people's favorite hot drinks and I am going to write down some of mine and then I'll see what I come up with Yay! Also sorry if the light keeps changing I am just very bad with figuring out what kind of temperature I should film at so it's kind of all over the place I got my coffee, it's almost empty and I am waiting for replies uh, but we will, we will see what people will say. So some of my favorite drinks. Let's zoom in, shall we? I love matcha. Oh, green tea, but matcha specifically. I love my soy matcha. I know my boyfriend really likes um, pumpkin spice, but herbal tea. Some super sweet <laughs> coffee. So my plan was to have like the kettle cats. They will have different shapes, but like one kettle cat could be like this. And their tail goes like and then they'll have the cup or whatever they like down here. <laughs> so I'll find different like mugs and stuff or different kettles. So for the Japanese one, for example, it's like this shape. <laughs> well, I need to double check, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I need to find some references, I think. Some references. <clears throat> Just gonna remember to drink my coffee. 
See? That one. That's what I was thinking about. There's too many of one. I know this is the, one of the ones I really like, but... Oh, that's cute. Actually, this would work better. Fancy kettle. <laughs> and... Cute kettle. Oh, cat kettle. That's not what I'm doing. I'm doing kettle cats. They all seem a bit like the same, though. So I guess I'll just make up whatever. Oh well, let's see what we can come up with. I have a little bit of a mood board now, so... So I really like this other vintage one that goes like this. It's gonna be such a silly idea. This is such a silly idea. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> this is like the, the silliest idea ever. It's just because they look like kettles when they're like super fluffy. You know what, I'm gonna put the top on them because it's so cute. It makes it a bit more <laughs> fun. <laughs> oh, there's a silver one here that I find it hilarious. This is just this is just the silliest idea. <laughs> this is, is just so silly. Oh my god. I actually really like these even though they're so stupid. I know I asked people for their favorite, like, drink, but I don't know if it will even fit into this, because it seems like these would just be very silly. Don't question my decision to draw cute little cat little cats, okay? It's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna jump right into watercolor paper, so I'm gonna go get my paper, because I left it downstairs. Alright. I've got my watercolors. Okay, I'm gonna put this away somewhere that I can see it. You can't really see when I sketch with my red pencils, so I might just skip this part so that you can see later. But I need to figure out where to. Actually, <laughs> a good thing to do first is to figure out where on the page they are going. Let's see. Hmm. Well, it's kind of hard to place these. It's easier to place when you're digital. <laughs> I think that's fine. Seven is cool. I think I'll leave it at seven. This one is kind of weird, and I can mix it in with this one anyway. Well, hello there. It's been a little while, actually. Um, You won't notice, because you're... You're edited and everything's fine, but I've actually not worked on this for another hour or something. Uh, but here it is. Here's the kettle cats. <laughs> it's so silly. I'm like, this is so out of what I want to do, if you know what I mean. I want to do like detailed stuff, but then I end up doing this. And people have been saying I've been really like negative about my art lately, and it's... I'm not being negative. Like, the last video, I loved my art. Like, I, this is what I love to do. I love to do these ones. And now I'm doing Kettle Cats. So, just a change of pace. I think I'm going to use my um, sepia ink again because I really enjoyed using it uh, last Friday. So, I'm going to use it today. And we're going to ink these little kitties. And I did open the eyes of a few of them. I need to edit those because they're little weird just to like make them a bit interesting uh, I might might just wait change these ones they don't look right that's cute and this one has an open eye as well cool that's all we need <laughs> let's ink these cats. If you can hear stuff in the background, it's that stupid thing that I don't know what is, but it keeps making noise every day, every hour. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just a giant machine or something. Okay, I need some paper to test this on. And I think I did buy a smaller one block of these. 
Um, so this is the watercolor paper I've been using for the longest and I really, really enjoy it. So I am just going to have it next to me so that I can test it. You can't see it on the camera because I'm zoomed in on what I'm actually drawing. I'm probably gonna focus what I'm doing. Actual lining. Inking is hard. Did you know that? And especially when I want clean lines, it's even harder. Oh, it's like ink everywhere. Jesus. <laughs> Why is this like okay, okay. So I'm not gonna be negative. I'm just gonna say how it is. This is this not what I was expecting to do this week? It's like completely random and I'm just stressed about anything, everything else so this is what I'm doing and uh, I think that should be allowed. I am allowed to do weird things and we're doing cat cuts so everything everything is the, in the world is good right now. Everything's a bit wonky. <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> it's so silly. Oh my god. Somebody take my pen away from me, okay? This is the stupidest thing. But it's so cute and I can't help it. I should be allowed to be a little bit negative about my art sometimes. You know? Still practicing, still honing my art. I really want to make this a sticker set already. I'm like ready for it. Is there any cats with curly fur? Huh. I wonder. Somebody should be here to remind me that I need to scan this. Because I always, always forget to scan my art. Well, should I tell you about how I've been like so distracted the last few days? Well, yesterday at least, I was trying to do this and I tried like three times to do something and you know what? I didn't do it. <laughs> That's why we're doing it on Thursday. I want to try and make my videos on like Monday so that I have the whole week to like finish it and edit it and then give it, like post it early for my Patreons. But I always forget, and well, I get distracted. Monday I had freelance stuff to do anyway, so I guess that's valid. And I know I asked like people on Instagram what their favorite drink was, but I think I just ended up doing the kettles because I couldn't figure out where am I gonna at least like match the kettles up with tea, I guess, but or coffee. But I just decided to just make the kettle cats. Maybe they could have been like different. Like they're all from the front. Maybe I should have done like different poses. Huh. Oh well. Since the one with the um, flowers, should I add some flowers? And I'm gonna do it free and because why not? I'm just looking at the reference though. There is some sort of... I'm not going completely blind. I actually love the pen. I think the pen is my new favorite tool. I know I, I swore by my... Um, ballpoint pen. But after I started using this, I'm just, this is the best thing ever. I think because I can get the really faint, really, really faint lines. Like, they look like sketchy lines like that. But I can also get the really nice thick lines. And they're a lot easier, actually, to manage than my ballpoint pen. So I actually really, really like this. Oh my god. How do I get to the tail? Jesus. 
Doesn't look like a tail. That's ah, uh, looks like a paw sticking up. Oops. I'm gonna give this this one a necklace, even though I haven't done that in the first place. But I am going to do that. I think I'm probably gonna say that I love this pen until it does something and I'll be like, why? They're not supposed to be fat cats, just so you know. They're supposed to be fluffy cats. I don't think- okay, if you didn't watch the last video, I'm gonna explain why this idea popped into my head. So, my boyfriend came up with the idea of a snow cat prince. Um, well, he saw a cat in the snow and he said it was a prince, and he said it was a snow cat prince, and I was like, yes. Uh, and, um, when he said that, I was like, that's so cute, and he's like, yeah, it's like a kettle cat, or like the cat is like a kettle because the cats that are in the snow and they're, they're super fluffy, they look like kettles. They're just one big blob of fur, and <laughs> that's where it comes from. Now I'm like, I don't like the eyes of that one after that, that one. That one's so cute. Um, so yeah, that's where it came from, and I was like, I need to do some kettle cats. And then the sticker idea came from the last video when I was explaining that, and I was like, could you do kettle cats? <laughs> and I'm doing it. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the long cat now. Long tea cat. Okay, hold it. Hold it! There's ones with like a, a, what would you call it? A knitted pattern and I'm going for it. So we're gonna put this guy in a little sweater. <laughs> I have to stop laughing at my own joy. <laughs> Okay, I think we actually managed to ink all of them. I think I'm gonna put something on this dude. And then that'll be it, I think, for at least the inking. I'm gonna go ahead with the, the other stuff. Uh, I'm going to give this guy a color. There we go. Alright, we're back. Uh, I think I messed up this one a little bit. I'll let it dry. And it's actually quite fun how ink has this texture. Like, when you use the pen and ink, you can feel the texture of the ink and it's kind of interesting. Anyway, um, you can probably hear the construction stuff in the background again. I am going to do some watercolor now and just color them. I, I still don't like the eyes of this dude, so if I was going to print this, I would probably edit that smaller in post. <laughs> because I am petty like that. That's just how it goes. 
I think my favorite one is this one. <laughs> it's just so cute. All right, so I also gave them a little bit of like steam coming out of their tails, which looks weird, but I think it's really cute. And uh, I am just so I'm not gonna tape it down because it's already on the block, and I'm pretty sure like it's like glued around. Um, and I think it will hold it, so I'm just gonna leave it. So, just thinking of what to do, how to color these, and I think what I'm going to do is create a gradient for all of them, like the different colors that the kettles are, and then. I'm going to uh, add some more detail afterwards. And I think I wanted to keep the original colors from the kettles just because that's kind of cute and kind of fun. So I'm going to start with this guy. Oh, I forgot to scan it. <laughs> Damn it. But I can't still do. So one thing I was supposed to remember. One thing you can never ever seem to remember. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna scan it. All right, <laughs> now that's done. It kind of, it, I think it survived. We are good to continue. Because now you can see how I did the gradients. <laughs> I am going to do the tutorial Tuesdays a little bit better, but then I'm actually going to explain what I'm doing. I guess I can now already explain it now. It's not that hard. Anyway, this one's silver, so that one's going to be a bit harder. But I think... Give the whole kettle a hue like this, but then... I am going to give it a gradient from here. Just a tiny bit. Just like that. And I want this one to be like a Siamese cat. So I'm gonna do the same thing and give it like a kind of bluish gray overall kind of color. I'm just so glad that <laughs> the ink doesn't run. So the trick is when I do gradient is to not have too much water on the page. I I tend to pick it up again with with my uh, my brush. And whenever I get harsh edges like that, I pick a little bit of water up and I kind of dab on where the harsh line is and I kind of pick up whatever was making the bad gradient see put that down put a bit of water and I do wipe on my piece of paper here to remove the pigment so that it doesn't just keep smudging around which is Dangerous. We could put some pink in here. Adding pink is always fun. <laughs> and this one is gonna be a grey one because I actually love the color of that teapot. Or yellow, but I do like the blue. Bluish green. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> And then I want the last one here to be like a orange brown tabby. Oh, I forgot that I might want to. Is that brown? That, yeah, that's nice. Sometimes I want like lighter spots under the eyes and stuff. So I, I leave that. Alright, that was the first 
gradient pass. Uh, I'm gonna give this little dude some nice brown spots. And I'm going on the one. And my trick is also I never ever leave pools of water when I do watercolor because it creates a texture or it's just not in control when I do that so I try not to. I just want it to be kind of clear which teapot I wanted it to be, you know? This guy. I want this bottom part to be quite So now I am leaving a big pool of water, but that is so I can like move it around. And now I have a bit too much, so I'm gonna wipe it and move a bit more. Such a cute little weird cat. I might put some yellow in the lighter areas later. <laughs> there we go. I have to make this one darker, I think. Alright, I think it might be almost done. Alright, let this dry for a little bit and then I will do some color pencils just to wrap them up. Wait, I just realized something I could do that could be really, really cute. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take off my, uh, 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 my watercolor set again. And you know how I said I wanted this to be stickers? I don't have a sticker machine, but I can create a border around all of them, I can't speak, and then I can kind of color in the background a little bit, just for fun. I ran up the stairs, that's why I can't talk. <laughs> Some of these, they're a bit close. <laughs> Ah, this is hard. Like trying to keep all these edges wet so they don't dry weird. <laughs> but ah, okay, more pink. It's really hard to keep it like going. That's why I'm concentrating and not talking <laughs> because um, I'm trying to keep. Just trying. Doesn't it look like stickers? Well, you can barely see what I did, but I did something. Alright. That means we can do some... Watercolor pen- no, well, not watercolor pencil. Jesus, pencils. And it's already dry. Um, uh, because I did wait a little bit. So now... We have all the- oh, Sounds? Sorry. All of these. Let's see what we can do. I just feel like a black hat needs a bit more black on them. See, it gives it a little bit of an extra depth. Which is always nice. <laughs> Maybe I should have stopped like two minutes ago. But what is done is done. So I'm not a big fan of the eyes, unfortunately. I don't know why. I still don't know why I don't like them. 
I don't know what to do with this guy. He's so blue. Oh, I was gonna put yellow. Uh, doesn't look very good. I think I can use my eraser. You get away with that. Cream color, probably better. I think we can use some red for that guy because it's so. And they're all pretty cute. Don't know what to do with this guy, he's a bit too yellow for my taste. I think I can fix it. It's like green. That's alright. Can I... Uh... Not like that. Give him kind of like a grey coat. This might have been better, um... Digitally, but... It's always okay trying it. Traditional, you know. It's still this cat. It is his face. It's too big. Pretty sure that's it. All right. I think that's it. I don't think I can do much more. And that is it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed just listening to me, I guess, and watch me draw some very silly cats. Uh, the kettle cats are not going to be up for stickers, at least now before Christmas. Uh, I might put them up after Christmas, who knows. I don't have a sticker machine now, I'm thinking of maybe investing in it after Christmas, so then I would make stickers of these. And But I hope you guys enjoyed just watching anyway, and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye!